Math 98, and we are going to take a look at section 6.7. We're going to talk a little bit about scientific notation and um, integer exponents, which we've already visited a little bit. Uh, x to the seventh over x cubed, x squared. So we know that we have a fraction, uh, I'm sorry, we have an exponent over an exponent in the same base we can subtract. So this is the same as this, which is this, and this is the same as this that 2 minus 5 not written well negative 3 we also know that since all that weights in the bottom this is the same as 1 over x and so uh, like we said in an earlier lecture if we have something to a negative exponent it's the same as that over the fraction right um, a negative exponent means repeated division instead of a positive uh, in contrast to a positive exponent which means repeated multiplication so if I have something like uh, 5 to the negative 2, it's the same as 1 over 25, right? The negative exponents, which is it. How about if I had 1 over 2 to the negative third power? That's interesting. That would be the same as this. And when you divide by a fraction, this is the same as 1 is divided by 1 over 2 cubed, which is the same as when you divide by a fraction, you can take the reciprocal and multiply 1 times to the third over one, which is two to the third. So another way to think about a negative exponent is whatever it has that negative exponent, it switches where that's in where that's at in the fraction. Right? If it's in the numerator, it pushes it to the denominator. If it's in the denominator, it pushes it to the numerator. It changes the role from division to multiplication or from division, uh, multiplication to division. Similar, we we know that if we have something like that. Uh, both those are taken to the negative 2 power. So basically that whole fraction would flip. In other words, this is the same as 7 squared over 5 squared, right? Because it would be 5 to the negative 2 over 7 to the negative 2. There's all those negatives. Blip, blop, and that's 49. A over B, the negative N, is B to the N over A to the N. That's supposed to be an N. It looked like an H. I apologize. And there's a whole mess of uh, fraction, um, I'm sorry, exponent rules for you in this section as well. You can, you can look them up. Let's resolve some of these. So M uh, cubed times N to the negative 2. I'm going to change this to an N. Uh, times M to the negative 4, N to the negative 3. Let's see. So M, I'm, everything's multiplied together here. Right? There's no addition here, so I can multiply whatever I want. I'm going to multiply those m's together, right? Like the exponents, I'm sorry, the parentheses don't really mean a lot. This is the same as just putting those things together. I'm, I'm just multiplying. You can multiply in whatever order you want. So this would be m to the negative 1, 3 plus negative 4. This would be n to the negative 5, which is the same as 1 over both of those things. This one, everything in here is taken to the negative 2 power. So I have 6 to the negative 2 and k cubed to the negative 2. So this would be 1 over 6 squared is 36. k cubed squared is k to the 6th. Remember, we have a power to a power you can multiply. And then this one, 5 to the 5th over 5 to the negative 3rd. Well, that 5 to the negative 3rd, this is the same as saying 5 to the 5th times 1 over 5 uh, to the negative 3 which is 5 to the 5th times 5 cubed, which is 5 to the 8th. And we'll leave it as that. If you really wanted to know what it was equal to, you could grab your calculator. Now, scientific notation. Guessing that you've seen it before. Um, so this is 6.8 times 10 five times, right? So every time you multiply by, by 10, a decimal point moves pl one place to the right. So this is basically 6. And then that decimal place is going to move five places. So one, and I'm going to fill them with zeros. Two, three, four, five. All right? One, two, three, four, five. So that's equal to that. And then this is, uh, that was supposed to be a nine. 9.21 times 10 to the negative seven. So this is 9.21 divided by 10 seven times. So that's going to move to the left ten, uh, seven places. Sorry. And fill them with zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So that's equal to that. Uh, scientific notation, moving it to the left, 
moving it to the right. Really big, really small. That's an L, not a one over. So if I had a number like 0 0.000019 or a number like 42, I could write this as 1.9. Scientific notation, we always write it as one significant digit that's not a zero and then point the rest of it that's not, that aren't zero. So 1.9, let me think of how many places I moved this. One, 10 to the negative six, because it's little. And I'll say this one is 4.2. One, two, three, times 10 to the ninth. Um, sometimes your calculator will say something like, if, you, know, you do a calculation and it is like, something like that, 5.7 E53. That's just notation that your, that your calculator uses. It means scientific notation. It means this. So this means really big. Grab that decimal place, move it to the right, 57. Points. And if it was negative, you would move it to the left. Scientific notation is kind of fun to uh, do some calculations with as well. So four times 10 cubed times two times 10 to the negative seventh. Notice everything in here is multiplied together. There's no addition or subtraction. So I can multiply in whatever order I want. Uh, and those are times, not x's. Four times two is eight. 10 to the third times 10 to the seventh is 10 to the negative fourth. So this would be that. Notice this one, 3 times 2 is 6. 10 to the 14th times 10 to the negative 2 is 10 to the 12th. So that would be that. And I can divide with it too, right? Like uh, 10 times 10 to the 7th divided by 3 times 10 to the negative 2. Uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the negative 2. 7 minus negative 2, right? That negative pops up, so that would actually be 10 to the 9th. All right. Hey, give those problems a try in the problem set. Send me any questions that you have or post them in the forums.